What is going on Pats Nation? It's Patriots Global back here with another video and in this one we're going to be touching a little bit more on the signing of Cam Newton. We've talked a little bit about it in a couple of different videos already but it's such a significant improvement really an improvement signing by the New England Patriots that it changes really a big aspect of this team heading forward. So of course there's going to be a lot to talk about with Cam Newton joining the offense, but ultimately, how does Cam Newton joining New England improve this offense going forward? Because that was really the the big worry for this New England Patriots team heading into the 2020 season. There's no question marks about the coaching staff. There's no question mark about the defense. There's no question mark about the special teams. The thing that everybody felt was holding New England back is the offense and more specifically the quarterback position. I think the first way that this is really going to help the New England Patriots offense come alive is the passing game. Now, this isn't to hate on Jared Stidham. I don't think anyone should hate on Jared Stidham, uh, but there was a lot of questions surrounding him because, hey, we've never actually seen him play a season within the New England Patriots offense. You know what I'm saying? We have only seen him play a few snaps as a, a second string quarterback in garbage time snaps this past season under Tom Brady, which doesn't really go to to show what he's made of. We saw him a little bit in preseason, but a lot of people feel that what you see from a quarterback in preseason does not accurately showcase what they're able to do. So even to go off of Brady, who statistically Tom Brady played just below average this past season, it just seemed like the passing game just became very lackluster. It just kind of was a non-factor. Tom Brady just didn't even look like Tom Brady. His arm strength didn't really look the same way. His accuracy, uh, it, it was still pretty top-notch. It was completely above average, but it just wasn't the Tom Brady that we have seen in the past. Now, is that because he's taken a decline, or was that because he just was done playing in New England? Your guess is as good as mine, but I'd probably go with the second one. But the Patriots could regain this back with a quarterback like Cam Newton, who is is still younger. You know, he's, he's still in his 30s, so he's not like he's in his 20s, but he's not going to be posing at a position where he's Drew Brees or Tom Brady age, which could still be very beneficial for the Patriots. He still has that young athletic vibe to him. He isn't what he was a few years ago, of course, but compared to what we've had in Tom Brady, yeah, I would say that he still brings a younger, more athletic build, a stronger arm. Now, I don't think he has the pinpoint accuracy that we've seen from Brady in the past, but again, Brady wasn't exactly perfect this past season either. I think in every aspect, the receivers and the the team around Cam Newton to help him in the past game is going to be one of the best that Cam Newton has had in his career. If you look at what he's had essentially throughout his time with Carolina, it's really not been anything to mention. It's not really been anything great. His top receivers really being journeymen at this point throughout the NFL. 2050, when they took a trip to the Super Bowl, his big guy and the essential only guy, at least I feel, that season was Ted Ginn. And of course, if you're going to tell me that Muhammad, or not Muhammad, Sanu, uh, Nikhil Harry, Julian Edelman is not equivalent to better than Ted Ginn, then just straight up you're you're wrong. Hell of guys like Muhammad Sanu who are proven in the NFL, having to kill Harry a first round talent that has the ability to be that big target that Cam Newton loves to throw to. And of course, he has Julian Edelman, which is a complete complimentary veteran piece for Cam Newton. You also then add the fact that the New England Patriots have the best depth at running back out of any other team in the NFL. A lot of people probably won't agree with me on that one, but I truly do believe that that is true. They're so versatile with all of their running backs, but the great thing is that most of their running backs have the ability to be elite pass catchers. James White, Rex Burkhead, Sonny Michelle, not really. Uh, we haven't really seen much from Damian Harris to be able to evaluate him in that aspect, but even Brandon Bolden has proved that he can be a threat in the passing game also. And the interesting fact here is that Cam Newton averaged 3,226.8 yards and 20.2 passing touchdowns per season throughout his nine careers, uh, throughout his nine-year career when he was targeting these pass-catching running backs. 
Now, the next way and probably the biggest way that I would say that this helps bring a jolt to the New England Patriots offense is the fact that we have a mobile quarterback that is going to be such a significant piece here for the New England Patriots. Now, either way, New England was going to get more of that athletic uh, being able to use your feet type of quarterback because even Jared Stidham has a much bigger ability to do that than Tom Brady does. But now we are getting Cam Newton, who is really one of the best, if not the best of this past decade at being a mobile and essentially athletic quarterback. And this is something that in general can just help the Patriots run attack. And this is something that the Patriots haven't had in as long as I can remember, if you can remember, go ahead and let me know. But this is something that genuinely looking back, I can't remember the last time the New England Patriots had this. Throughout his nine-year career, he averaged 534 yards and 6.4 rushing touchdowns on the ground. We have seen that the league is changing into this more mobile type of quarterback realm. That is kind of the era that is changing not a lot of teams are going with that classic pocket passing type of quarterback. It just seems to kind of be navigating, at least for this generation, you know, out of the NFL. But we have seen that with these more athletic, with these more mobile quarterbacks, it really does open up the offense to so many other things. It helps your rushing attack, but it also helps get your wide receivers, your tight ends, and ultimately your passing game just much more open because as Patriots fans, when Tom Brady would go up against the defense, nobody had to compensate for Tom Brady scrambling and being mobile because it never happened. The honest to God truth with Tom Brady was that either a guy was going to be open in the passing game and he was going to beat you that way, but if he couldn't get anybody open, Tom Brady was going to do one of two things. He was either going to throw the ball away or he was going to say take the sack. It was extremely, extremely rare that you would see Tom Brady getting out of the pocket and rushing for a first down. Because of that, defenses were able to really look at New England's receivers, their running backs out of the backfield, their tight ends. They were able to help compensate more for them because nobody had to watch at, okay, what is the quarterback going to do? Watch the quarterback so that he is not able to, to pick up yards on the ground. Cam Newton will come in and take that attention away, at least some of it, from the running backs out of the backfield, from the wide receivers, from the tight ends, and even just a little bit of pressure off of them could mean the world of difference, especially for a healthy set of receivers heading into the New England Patriots core in 2020. Because now, essentially, you're talking about at least one defender, one opposing defender when we play a game each week in the NFL season in 2020 that has to game plan as essentially a spy who has to really just watch Cam Newton every single snap of this game to make sure that someone is defending him in case he does decide to scramble. And again, if you're trying, if you're going to have to cover Cam Newton, which is something you never had to do with the Patriots before, it's taking the attention away from another area. Because of Newton also being mobile, it will also create at least a little bit more time because he'll be able to scramble out of the pocket. He'll be able to slide out left or slide out right, being able to juke out defenders. Also, let's remember, this is probably the best offensive line he's going to have performed up against at least in, in a few years, you know, if not his entire career. But giving his receivers, his tight ends, wide receivers, running backs a little bit more time to do their thing, to get open, to try to uh, get some coverage away. But even Cam Newton sliding out to the light, left, sliding out to the right and juking out defenders, it's going to draw more attention. It's going to draw more coverage to Cam Newton, which again, in return, is going to help get these other guys open even a little bit more. We are also now going to have a guy who is going to have experience in the playoffs, in the Super Bowl, and that is, that's highly important. You know, we were going in essentially with Jared Stidham, and while I love Jared Stidham, while I have faith in Jared Stidham, I am glad that he's getting more time to kind of sit back, learn the ropes of the Patriots system and the NFL before we kind of just throw him in, but for a guy that hasn't even played a season in the NFL, of course he doesn't have Super Bowl 
or playoff experience, which again is going to be highly important, especially for the New England Patriots, whose team as a whole is more than capable of making a deep playoff run. You're going to have another veteran aspect in the locker room. You're going to have a veteran aspect on the field, in the huddle, taking command of the offense and the entirety of the team. Not to mention the fact that Cam Newton will also help potentially the future of the New England Patriots because Jarrett Stidham will also have time to just sit back and learn from a guy like Cam Newton. And essentially, Cam Newton's the complete opposite of what Tom Brady is. So if you're Jarrett Stidham, you're learning from two of the best at two different respective playing styles over the past decade, not to mention you're also learning from Brian Hoyer. So if you're Stidham, you are in the perfect position to be just taking everything in and learning and being really successful within the next couple of years. But that is going to be it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on the signing of Cam Newton? And how do you think he is going to change the ropes of the New England Patriots offense? Let me know what you're thinking in the comment section below. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like always, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one.